This is Richard Spencer, one of the most notorious white supremacists in the country. All right, I think it's really important that it gets pointed out that there is a huge difference between white nationalists, white separatists, and white supremacists, okay? White nationalists want this country to be primarily for and revolve around white people. That's the position of a white nationalist. A white separatist is someone who thinks that the races should be separated from each other. It's not saying that one is superior over, over another, it's saying that they should be separated from each other. Then you have the white supremacists. And the white supremacists think that white people are superior over everyone else. Now, it's odd to me how so many people who are trying to speak against white nationalists, white separatists, and white supremacists want people to look at nuanced arguments, but they refuse to look at the nuance when they're talking about one of these three uh, white groups. Like, they continually talk about white supremacy. Now, what some of these people mean when they say white supremacy, and we're supposed to look at the nuance of that, I guess, when people say white supremacy, they're talking about people who will knowingly or unknowingly be supporting things that only really help white people. Or they support things that are at the detriment of non-white people. Now, to me, that's really stretching things a lot. And it's why it pisses off so many people. It pisses people off in the same way as when they'll say black people can't be racist because racist is privilege plus power. And they just keep using these phrases over and over again, not caring whether or not they are interpreted in the ways that they're being interpreted. Well, they should get educated. Well, that's not going to happen. You're going to have to be the one to educate them, or you're going to have to be more careful with your words. Well, neither one of those things seem to be happening. Now, I understand that we should be speaking against, well, to me, we should be speaking against all three of those types, the white nationalists, the white separatists, and the white supremacists. We should be speaking against all three of those things. But when there are people who don't wish any harm on anyone are being lumped in with those that do wish harm on people, it sucks. You're taking some people who might have been on your side had you not have been making these kind of declarations and turning them against you. This sort of thing is creating right-wingers. It's creating racists. It's creating people who weren't previously white nationalists and turning them into white nationalists. I wouldn't say that it's turning people who aren't white supremacists into white supremacists. Unless, of course, you're using that the, the new definitions where it's, well, anyone who supports something that would primarily benefit white people. Now, maybe with all of these people talking about this stuff, maybe there'll be some sort of a solution, or maybe we'll actually be forced to look at these issues, whereas before we just swept it under the carpet. Could be some truth of that. We don't know yet. 